So I've been meaning to do this for a little while now, um, but it has been a comedy errors, you know, of errors getting to me. Um, so this box is actually a Christmas present from a friend of mine, and she sent it to another friend of mine's house, right? And unfortunately, I was supposed to pick it up like when I go over there to hang out. But the problem was, I got a second job, like, right when he got there. I got there way late. He didn't get there until, like, February, I think. And I find myself with a second job by that point. And so, it took a whole month of March for me to finally get over there. <laughs> and then I got sick after I got it. So then I, you know, I went about to do this then. <laughs> um, so then I had to recover from that. And I finally recovered today, and um, it just so happens that one of my jobs, the campus is closed, we're going to have some severe weather later, so I figure why not go ahead and finally do this video that I've been intending to make. So in this box is some hot sauce. You know, I, I like hot sauces. I've, I've made a video already trying hot sauce that another friend of mine got me. So I'm going to make another one, so you know, let's, let's get this box open here. All right, so here we are. Let's see what exactly is in here. We've got this one. This one says ghost pepper on it. So that'll be interesting. And this one says mango habanero. That'll be pretty good. And what do we have here but the Satanic Temple? Apparently, this is from the Satanic Temple. <clears throat> I thought that was just a figure of speech when she told me these hot sauces were Satanic. No. <laughs> this, these are from the real Satanic... It came with a sticker. I'm going to probably put that on my laptop. I'm not really part of the Satanic Temple, but, you know, I'm super atheist. But the sticker is pretty cool. And we got this little flag thing. So here's the first one. I'm going to try to get this one out of its bubble wrap. You know. Here we are. This is the ghost pepper one. It's got a really neat label. I don't know if the glare is there. But it looks cool. And it's got a Satanic Temple logo, so, you know, this really is their ghost pepper. This is Satan-approved hot sauce. So that's freaking neat, you know. So this has a 9 out of 10 heat levels. So this ought to be some pretty hot shit. All right, now, I wanted something really neutral to try it on because, you know, you want to, you want to taste the hot sauce <clears throat> more than anything else. But I didn't really have a whole lot, you know, in the pantry or anything. So I came up with cashews. And that's what we're eating this with, right? Right there, hot sauce and cashews. I mean, a classic combination, really. All right, we have our cashew. Okay. Undo the bottle cap real quick. First, let's, let's get a little bit on the finger. Yeah, there. Very vinegary. Ooh. That is hot. <coughs> <coughs> Not helped by the fact that I still have a little bit of cough. But that is that is hot. It, it actually tastes good, though. Usually you get the super hot sauces and they don't, like, have any flavor. This has a flavor. It's very vinegary. I like it. Put some on the cashew now. Mmm. That goes good on the cashew. That's good stuff. I will definitely be using this. 
It is really hot. It's not for the faint of heart. Mm. Not the hottest sauce I've ever had. I've had some Reaper sauces that were like incredible. And I had the one, I did the one chip challenge a while back. That was pretty hot. But unlike those that are just nothing but heat, this has a flavor to it and I like it. Did not have anything over here to drink. That probably would have been wise, you know, for what I'm doing. It's a good sauce. And now this is the other one. This is the mango habanero hot sauce. I don't expect it to be as hot, but I was kind of looking forward to the flavor. I, I usually like mango habanero as a flavor. The other one was good, it, but it had more of a barbecue sauce flavor. I'm kind of curious. This probably will have more of a, you know, sweet and sour sauce kind of flavor, that kind of thing, but spicy, like, you know, mango habanero. It says the heat level 6 out of 10, so uh, let's give it a shot. This one, for some reason, much more difficult to open. I don't really know why. Finally got a tear in it. That's what we were after. But yeah, this one's got a little little dodo on it <laughs> so that's kind of cool still satanic temple approved though so you know i like the dodo though that's neat get some on the finger first definitely a lot sweeter a lot more mild after eating the ghost pepper sauce, you can kind of hardly tell that this is spicy. But it is tasty. I do like it. Um, definitely want to, I want to use this on, I'm going to make some like, I, I do an orange chicken. I'd probably use this in that. Very tasty on the cashew. I'm going to get another cashew. Mm. Yeah, if you like sweeter hot sauces, this is definitely a good one. I would use this in making a specific dish, though, like I said, the orange chicken or like General Tso's, something along those lines. <laughs> this one, the ghost pepper one, I could see myself using that one as a more general purpose. It's definitely got a more vinegary, barbecue saucy kind of flavor, and I like that. You need more of it. But yeah, hot sauces straight from Satan's temple. <laughs> um, Christmas present from a friend of mine. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry it took me so long to do this bit. <laughs> um, like I said... You know, it was sent there, and then I got a second job, so I couldn't hang out as much, and then I got sick. I mean, it was nuts, but definitely a great Christmas present. I do enjoy it. Thank you to her. Thank you to the Satanic Temple. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs>